Hey Cappies! Welcome to your weekly love reading December 31st to January 6th. Hope you guys are doing really good. I want to address the pre-shuffle before we get into the intro and the reading. I saw the Page of Swords in reverse. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I feel like you guys were fed some lies. <laughs> you would not believe what just- I'm just kind of messing with the cards before we even get into anything and look what came out. Justice with the Two of Cups. Yeah, so someone's been feeding you lies um feel like it's your partner um could be anybody but someone's definitely been feeding you lies but i feel like you just came to realize it or something is coming to light about that in this upcoming week now the reading could also be very different the reading could not even pertain to that message at all and that could have been just a small message for someone out there who had to hear it relating to capricorns um you know like i said guys i always say this in my intro Messages come through for those who need to hear it, and I get multiple messages sometimes for different groups of Capricorns, so don't let the pre-shuffle scare you, but I just gotta let you know what I was feeling and what came out, okay? So it goes without saying, guys, this is a general love reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages will not resonate with everybody, as I had already just described. Um, it's about who needs to hear it, and sometimes that's you. Sometimes that's not. And it's okay if it's not. Um, well, there's plenty of readers on YouTube um, that might be picking up your story for this week if I'm not picking it up for whatever reason, okay? Um, also, keep in mind, guys, it's all energy work. So messages can be vice versa. They could pertain to you or your partner or someone in your immediate environment that you interact with very regularly, okay? Um, so please keep that in mind if you, if you think, oh, this is totally it, except it's completely reversed. It still applies. It could still apply to you, okay? Um, also, don't gang up on the gender of the cards. Nothing's gender specific. I'll let you know if it is. I think, was it Taurus? I think it was Tur Taurus that was gender specific. Um, and I was like, right after I said that, the card came out. I was like, oh, this is a gender specific one, specific one guys. Um, but everyone has masculine and feminine energy, okay? So don't let that, you know... Um, bother you and or distract you and I'll let you know if it is like one percent of the time it is gender specific but I'll let you know okay so let's just get into it any messages for my Capricorns regarding love December 31st to January 6th <clears throat> messages for my Capricorns regarding love December 31st to January 6th messages for my Capricorns December 31st to January 6th. Let's see what is up, Cappies. Any messages for my Capricorns? December 31st to January 6th. Any messages for my Capricorns? December 31st to January 6th. Any messages for my Capricorns? December 31st to January 6th regarding love. Let's see what we get here, guys. Any messages for my Capricorns regarding love, December 31st to January 6th? Any messages for my Capricorns regarding love, December 31st to January 6th? By the way, happy birthday to any Cappies out there. Um, oh, we got nothing. Oh. <laughs> Let's try that again. Any messages for my Capricorns regarding love, December 31st to January 6th? But really, happy birthday to any Cappies out there having a birthday this week or today or whenever you're watching this. Any messages for my Capricorns regarding love, December 31st to January 6th? Any messages for my Capricorns regarding love, December 31st to January 6th? All right, cool. Any messages for my Capricorns regarding love, December 31st to January 6th? Now, I've been getting the question about Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And what signs to look for, you know, especially in your chart and whatnot. So for, for reading purposes, I always say, you know, order of importance, your rising, your, your moon, and then your sun, and then your Venus. Um, as far as your whole chart is concerned, like I say, I only focus on sun, moon, rising, and Venus, um, just because those are, are the strongest. Are, it's a long explanation. I don't want to waste our reading time on it, and maybe I'll do a video on it sometime. Um, but basically, it's just those affect more of our short-term experiences as opposed to our long-term life experiences, okay? Um, and when it comes to love, that would be more of a short-term effect, okay? Because most of us don't have a life partner coming up in our lives every week, right? <laughs> It'll still show up when we get life partners. It does show up. Um, but if your whole chart is dominated by a sign, like let's say your sun, moon, rising, and Venus are all different signs, but the rest of your chart is one sign, 
look at that sign because <laughs> it's dominating your chart. So it's going to dominate um, your personality and, and how you react to things. OK. All right. So moving on. Let's see all the cards we got here. Oh, jeez. Oh, we got a lot. We got a lot, Capricorns. We have seven cards. Overall energy. Six of cups in reverse. Mm hmm. Cappies, I'm not liking it. It's feeling really sad. I'm not going to lie. Um, this is bad memories. I think you're dealing with a soulmate, hands down. I think you're dealing with a soulmate. But the memories are not good. Or whatever's triggering you this week, it's just making you think of only the bad stuff. Only the stuff that makes you sad. Damn it. It's like dragging me down to this. Ugh. Okay. Sorry, guys. I just got to protect my energy a little bit. Okay. Yeah, it's bringing you guys down. It's making you really sad. It was about, it was, I was going to be on the verge of tears in like a couple minutes, okay? It's making you really sad. And I feel like it's been triggered by something. Something's triggered it for you. So we have Five of Cups, Temperance in Reverse, Sagittarius Energy, Knight of Pentacles in Reverse, Virgo Energy. Could also be Capricorn <laughs> or Taurus or um, Aries Leo Sag. Then we have the Fool, Aries Energy, Three of Pentacles, the Hermit in reverse, more Virgo energy, Cappies. Um, yeah, a lot of Virgo energy. And then we have pa Page of Coins, um, a lot of Earth energy as well. It's good that you're surrounded by your element. That's always good. Because you can you gain a lot of confidence by harnessing your own element because it's, it's, it's yours. It's familial. It's comfortable. You know how to work with it already. Um, mm, damn it. It's just I see it. I can see the pain and it's because someone has has just kind of like stopped like they've stopped talking to you or they stopped investing in you they stopped they've stopped working on this okay so let's focus on this five of cups this is definitely about just loss 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 I, I, I feel like whatever Cappy is going to be resonating with this this is all your energy by the way that I'm feeling um I'm not really feeling a partner yet or your counterpart yet I feel like it's this it's this knight of Pentacles actually like it's a sign of pentacles in reverse energy. But then I see a new beginning coming. So I feel like this is a transition period for my Capricorns this upcoming week. You're moving almost like from one situation and feeling one way about something into like almost a complete 180. Like coming out of your shell and, and getting that like dose of happiness, that dose of joy, that dose of fun. But there's something with that switch. And I see it with the full card. It's like Three cards before the full card, three cards after the full card. There's there's a switch. There's a switch happening. But before the switch happens, it's like you're just kind of ruminating over all the loss you've had in a certain situation. Um, you feel like a lot of things were taken from you. And you're like you're like grasping on to the little bit of light you still have. Wow, it's very depressive. I'm sorry, guys. Just got to be honest. It's very depressive. This can be you or your partner because it could always be vice versa. But... For the sake of the reading, so I don't confuse you guys and I don't confuse myself, because I, I feel like that was confusing me during my air sign readings, the first ones I did. I did a bonus video as well, so keep an eye out for that if you're curious about air signs. I was kept switching back and forth for vice versa to, to kind of address both groups, but it just became too confusing. So I'm just going to stick with how I'm first initially feeling it with the Capricorns, okay? Capricorns, yeah, you're gra you're grasping on to this, like, the last bit of light you have in your life and the last bit of happiness you have. You just feel, God, you just feel like someone battered your heart around, really, is kind of what it seems like. Lifetimes, lifetimes. Some of you, this is a lot of pain you've been carrying with you for a long time. Um, you feel like your your heart has never been treated right in any relationship. You like seriously, it's like someone took a stick and just beat your heart out if they could. Oof. And then this temperance energy in reverse. Um, calling for balance. Calling for balance and calling for a restriction. It's calling it's calling for emotional control. That's what it is. It's basically saying, like, okay, things are a little bit of a mess. Your emotions are a little bit of a mess. It's okay to, to it's okay to feel it, but don't wallow in it is what I'm getting. And it's almost like pick up your pick yourself up by your bootstraps, pick yourself up, you're gonna be okay. Like that's kind of like the sense I'm getting. Like almost as if like I almost feel like it's some of your guides or even like whispering in your ear, it's like like pick yourself up. You didn't lose. And I think it's because they can see this new beginning coming for you. And they you got to be in the right state of mind for that is what I'm getting. Because if you're in this state of mind, when a new beginning happens, 
it's like, how are you going to have the motivation to, to seize it if you're still thinking about the past, right? Um, and then the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, like I said, I feel like this was brought on because somebody just stopped, like literally just stopped in their tracks. But I feel like before this, they weren't even the Knight of Pentacles. I almost feel like they were like Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords, like, like gunning, gunning for you. And then all of a sudden something just stopped. Something made them just stop in their tracks. And we're going to look into this. I just want to give you the general energy I'm feeling before I get into clarifiers. But then all of a sudden, it's this 180 turn. Like, literally like a 180 turn. New beginning. Slammed right in your face. Oh. And it's going to take a... Oh, it's going to take a lot of guts. I'm not going to lie. How, this leap feels big. It feels really big. I just got, like, that feeling of, like, being on the edge of a... Like, literally being on the edge of a cliff. Which, by the way, I like, I, I don't have an issue with heights. But as I get older it's developing into an issue <laughs> um and it's like oh that gave me so much anxiety it made my stomach drop actually feeling that but that's the kind of leap of faith it's gonna it's gonna require of you and then the three of pentacles this is about building with somebody collaborating with somebody trying to build a foundation um it's almost like it's gonna snap you out of your your sadness too it's like you you have to have really taken care of it and kind of lifted yourself up by your bootstraps by the time this comes in but it's going to be like the final touches of healing for you is, is collaborating with somebody, working on, on something with somebody. It could just be a project. It could also be a relationship. Um, but it's definitely like a lot of discussion and a lot of collaboration with somebody. And it feels it feels nice. It feels nice. Um, Hermit in reverse. Someone's coming out of the woodwork here. Um, Someone's coming out of the woodwork to, to forge with you. Someone's coming out of the woodwork to work with you. Someone you have been speaking with for a while. Um, it's a comforting feeling, though. Whoever this person is, it's comforting. Because then we got the Page of Pentacles, my friend card. This is like a bestie. Um, it's also my self-study self card. I think this person who's coming out of the woodwork has done a lot of work on themselves. I feel it. They've done a lot of work on themselves. So really sincere work. They did the nitty gritty and now they're ready to work with you now that they've worked on themselves. Oh, wow. That's powerful. Ready to work with you now that they've worked on themselves. That's awesome. Okay. So I don't want to spend too much time in this old sadness. I don't want to spend too much time in this feeling of loss, like intense loss, because it's it's like almost overpowering your energy and overpowering the reading because you can't stop wallowing in the past or about the things that you've lost that you may, used to make you happy. So I'm curious more about temperance in reverse, which is about how you're going to get out of that sadness. Okay, so let's look at this. Let's look at this card. Let's see what's up with it. Clarify temperance in reverse for my Capricorns. December 31st to January 6th regarding love. Clarify temperance in reverse for my Capricorns. December 31st to January 6th regarding love. Clarify temperance in reverse for my Capricorns. December 31st to January 6th regarding love. Clarify temperance in reverse. Clarify temperance in reverse. Clarify temperance in reverse. By the way, you could be a Sag Cap Cusper because we do have, you know, intense Sag presence here. Clarify temperance in reverse. Clarify temperance in reverse. Clarify temperance in reverse. Clarify temperance in reverse. Okay. Interesting. So overall energy, we have eight of pentacles. Wow. Wow. And right underneath that, sorry, king of pentacles, Taurus energy. Could also be Capricorn or Virgo. Um, or Gemini Libra Aquarius. I don't know why, but it's been so hard for me to get that second tier of sign energy. Um, this is about working, putting in the work, putting in the effort. I also feel like going to work, going to work. I feel like this is the energy that they're asking you to take on. Be that king of pentacles. Be the provider. Be that person who stands up and gets the shit done and who has a gentle touch about it. And someone who actually gives a shit about other people. Put in 
as much work as possible. This is the hardest working card in the deck. This is also Virgo energy again. Okay, so I'm just letting you guys know. So it's actually saying harness all earth energy. That's exactly what this is saying. You got Virgo here. This is sun in Virgo. This is Taurus. Um, and you're Cappy. It's like, yeah, harness all the earth energy you possibly can to put yourself to work, whether that's literal work like career, which is I think is actually exactly what it's saying. Throw yourself into your career. Throw yourself into self-work. Throw yourself into house projects. Just throw yourself into any work you can find your hands on in order to heal and to not dwell so much on what's been lost. Keep working on you to keep moving forward out of this energy is what it's saying. And then to clarify, we have the Five of Cups again. It's just it's just clarifying this energy of, of what's going on and how, and how much pain is here. It's definitely about heartbreak. Definitely about heartbreak. Um, something just didn't pan out the way that you really thought it was going to. Which is really unfortunate because this person... So sorry, Cappies. I, I thought I had my phone on Do Not Disturb. I forgot I had to take it off earlier. And then I forgot to put it back on, of course. But anyway, so as I was saying, <clears throat> I'm more interested in the full energy, the Aries energy of what's causing this shift, what's causing this turn into a new beginning for you. All right? Let's see what this is about. But like I said, it's going to it's gonna take a lot of faith. It's going to take a lot of guts to jump off that ledge. <clears throat> I think someone's going to be asking a lot of you, to be honest. Um, so just be prepared for that. Clarify the fool. For my Capricorns, December 31st to January 6th. Clarify the fool. For my Capricorns, clarify the fool. For my Capricorns, December 31st to January 6th. Come on. My cards are like not wanting to shuffle. All right. Clarify the fool. For my Capricorns, December 31st to January 6th. Clarify the fool. For my Capricorns. Sorry, those are my cats. <laughs> clarify the fool. Clarify the fool. Clarify the fool. Mm -mm. Clarify the fool for my Capricorns, December 31st, January 6th. There's an interesting story unfolding here with this fool card. Clarify the fool. Clarify the fool. Clarify the fool. Wow. A lot of cards, guys. Yeah, there's a, there's a story here. There's an intense story here with this fool card. Boys. Boys. They're just having a little too much fun. Oof. Oh, oh, God. <clears throat> okay, the full card has an overall vibration of the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. <gasps> Damn it. I'm sorry, guys. I got to take care of this. Give me a second. My goodness. All these interruptions. I am so sorry, guys. So sorry. My cat literally broke one of my plates. <laughs> Quite literally. Oy. I've lost so many glasses because of these cats. I love them to death, but it's just like, oh. <laughs> Damn it. I know you're wondering, how'd they do that? Doesn't matter. Anyway, so with the full energy, this new beginning, this this leap of faith you have to take, there's the Wheel of Fortune in reverse around it. Um, so to me, that's saying that there's there's a lot of things that need to be closed out here. And to close it out is, par is part of taking this leap of faith. But oh my God, the amount of cards. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11. We have 11 cards here to clarify. I really feel like, uh, yeah, I know this is from this person. So this Knight of Pentacles, this person who just stopped in their tracks, um, they're the ones coming in to try to make this right, to get this new beginning. Definitely, definitely. Whatever made them stop, something's triggered them. And let's see if it'll come up in the cards. So we have the first two cards. Three of Pentacles in reverse with the Four of Wands. This is like the past energy leading up to the full card, right? Because they've stopped in their tracks. This is knowing and feeling like they've just completely given up on this. And it could even be a breakup, um, which is what might have put you in this state in the first place. Um, just realizing someone's not going to invest in you anymore. So realizing someone's not going to work on this anymore. 
But then we have the Six of Pentacles. God, I can't make up these cards in my life. <laughs> but then we have the Six of Pentacles. Um, wanting balance. I feel like this is more so for you guys. You guys with this new beginning, you're like, you're being presented, you're, this is being presented to you and you're just like, well, I want balance, but I gotta be honest, guys, there's like no trust here on your end, on Capricorn's end. Like you guys have no trust in this person whatsoever. And I don't blame you. They put you through a lot of sorrow and a lot of pain um this person might also be coming and acting overly generous they might even come in with like praise like praise i don't know i'm getting praise i'm get. i was about to say gifts but it was like praise kept coming praise kept coming in in um yeah praise and gifts it's just like generosity trying to be generous trying to be generous but it's just it's gonna be off-putting for you because like yeah you're a capricorn and you prefer a partner who can bring you even um physical stability in that way of like in the monetary sense i'm not saying you guys are gold diggers you guys aren't it's just it's um you just appreciate that in a partner you don't need it you just appreciate it but there's something about you're still like you're just trying to buy your way back into my life and then we have these three cards we have justice in reverse libra energy with set uh temperance which is sagittarius and then nine of swords in reverse yeah there was some major injustice here and i feel it major injustice um but this injustice this is their energy copies this is not your energy this is their energy they are they are they are very tortured as well both of you are very tortured by this i mean you're in a five of cups this is like feeling the loss this, this is, this is also feeling the pain and loss, but taking it to a whole other level of mental torture. And usually I would say this is, this is someone trying to come out of it. And I think they are, but they're so stuck in it and it's so severe for them that it's actually in reverse because it's that severe. This is also major depression. And what temperance is saying, this is also for them. It's like, hey, you, you gotta, you gotta kind of like find your bone balance here. You gotta, Put a little bit more uh, boundaries in on your emotions. You got to see things for how they are. You got to get out of this headspace. You have to heal. So they're in the Nine of Swords while you're in the Five of Cups. So they're up in their head and you're in your heart. Oof. Jesus. Because they know they did you wrong. And then we have Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Um, really poor investment. Really poor investment. You definitely feel like this person was a waste of your time. That goes without saying. That's that. That's the, the epitome of this card is a waste of time. But yeah, both of you just feel like God. This was just not handled right. This was not handled right. And then we get these four cards. Jesus, I know. I keep saying that a lot. I'm just the energy is very overwhelming. We have Queen of Wands, Aries energy. Could also be Sag or Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it's Aries. And then we have King of Wands, Leo, the Leo card. Uh, this could also be uh, Aries Sagittarius or uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius with the Hierophant Taurus energy and then the Ten of Swords in reverse. Oh, true pair. A true pair right next to the Hierophant. Talk about a spiritual connection. Um, what? Are... Yeah, I don't see the lovers out here. But that to me is indicative of soulmate energy. Possible twin flame, but definitely soulmates at the very least. You two just feel like... <laughs> Both of you feel like you're a perfect fit. Both of you feel that way. And I think that's why I wanted, like, Capricorns, you're just so in your heart about, about it and feeling the pain that way. And they are so up in their heads about it, feeling it that way. Hold on a second. Go away. Okay. Anyway. So this Ten of Swords, this tells me that it's, like, especially in the position it's it's in at the end. For me, it's at the end. I'm reading it this way. I don't know if this is a reverse mirror or not, how it ever comes up. Um, I never pay attention to that detail, but this is the this is the last card, okay? So we have the true pair. We have the spiritual connection. We have the commitment, and then we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. That tells me trying to work past the ending, trying to work past the betrayal in this new beginning. I think both of you really want it, but damn. I just there's so much pain on both sides i'm just like wow how's this gonna happen but it feels like you guys are gonna try because then we have these three cards for you guys three of pentacles with the hermit in reverse with the page of pentacles which is really awesome energy um yeah forging working together coming out of the woodwork after someone's worked on themselves i've worked on me let's work on this now uh let's look at the hermit in reverse i want to see what this person is up to clarify the hermit in reverse 
I feel like this is them. I don't feel like this is you. Clarify Hermit in reverse. Let's see what they realized when they were in Hermit mode. Clarify the Hermit in reverse. Oh, I'm being told to use the Legacy deck. Clarify the Hermit in reverse. Clarify the Hermit in reverse. Clarify the Hermit in reverse with Cappies. December 31st to January 6th regarding love. Clarify the Hermit in reverse for Cappies. December 31st to January 6th regarding love. Clarify the Hermit in reverse. Clarify the Hermit in reverse. Clarify the Hermit in reverse for my Capricorns. December 31st to January 6th regarding love. Mm. Clarify Hermit in reverse. God, there's a lot of fire in this reading. Which means a lot of passion, a lot of excitement. Clarify Hermit in reverse. Also action. There, yeah, there's action being taken here. Clarify Hermit in reverse. We only have one card out so far. Clarify Hermit in reverse for Capricorns. December 31st to January Six, clarify Hermit in reverse. Wow. Okay. It's amazing. Overall energy, we have judgment in reverse for Hermit in reverse. So they're so they're coming towards you. They're coming out of this realizing that they messed this up. That's what this is saying. They they realize they messed this up. They realize they are the reason that you guys have now rifted apart and that you guys need to come together. But when they come out of it, it's like they want a new beginning. They want this Ace of Wands, which is passion. It's also sex. So keep that in mind. <laughs> keep that in mind. They might be a little sex driven, but there, there's intense spirituality here too. So also keep that in mind. You, you know your person. Two of Cups in reverse with the Queen of Swords. This is how they're seeing you, Capricorn. They're seeing you as a Libra, Libra energy. Um, could also be Aquarius, uh, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but more so as somebody who like who cuts shit out that they don't need. So they want this new beginning, but they know that you cut this connection at some point, which is funny because it's like, I would say with the way you were feeling that they kind of left you because they're the ones who stopped. But you guys could have definitely been like, you know what? You're not investing in me. You literally are not doing shit. I don't need this. Good. Bye. <laughs> cut your head off. Bye. Um, there's intensity here, though. Even like the way she's looking, I feel like she's actually like Capricorns. This is this is gonna be your energy in the near future. I feel like you're looking at this new beginning being offered and seeing how broken it is, and you're just like, I don't know. I don't know. You're almost looking down on it, to be honest with you. You're looking down on it a little bit, but I think it's just because there's that hesitation because of the pain this person put you through. But Page of Coins, they're, they're coming in with an offer as well. So let's look at this really quickly. I'll use the Legacy deck again. Clarify Page of Pentacles. Clarify Page of Pentacles for my Capricorns. December 31st to January 6th. Clarify Page of Pentacles for my Capricorns. December 31st to January 6th. Clarify Page of Pentacles. I think you're dealing with somebody who has a lot of air in their chart. I'm just saying. Because there's they seem to be all about the mental. All about the thought. All about the communication. And you're all about the emotions. Clarify uh, Page of Pentacles for my Capricorns. December 31st to January 6th. Clarify Page of Pentacles for my Capricorns. December 31st to January 6th. Clarify Page of Pentacles for my Capricorns. December 31st to January 6th. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Wow, I got King of Pentacles again. Whew, and Queen of Wands. All right, so overall energy, King of Pentacles. So they're going to come in with an offer, and they're going to come in as the king. They're going to come in as the king. Yeah, there's a lot of mirroring going on here because I'm telling you right now, when the temperance card came up for you guys in reverse as advice for like how to get out of this energy, what were they saying? 
be the king, be the king of pentacles to work, work, work. But now your counterpart is coming in as the king of pentacles. There's a lot of mirroring going on here. And both and both of you are in pain. One, it's just emotional. The other, it's like it's all mental pain, mental torture. But now they're coming in harnessing your energy that you harnessed to get out of your sadness. And now they're coming in to get out of their sadness, harnessing that same energy. Intense mirroring. Yeah, this could be twin flames. This definitely could be twin flames. Coming with an offer, wanting to, and honestly, they, they just, they want to, they want to be with you. They want to be with you. They want to build with you. They want to have, I, oh, empire. Oh, that's about empire. They want to have an empire with you. Um, they want to work. They're ready to work. All right. And then these are the cards clarifying world in reverse. You could be doing with an, uh, a fixed sign, a Scorpio, a Taurus, uh, a Leo, uh, what's that last one? Aquarius and then High Priestess in reverse. Piscean energy could also be Gemini for me as a reader. And then Queen of Wands, Aries. Again, we already had Queen of Wands and, and we already had the Queen of King of Pentacles. Uh, could also be Leo or Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So they're going to come in and give this offer to you, who you're coming across as the Queen of Pentacles. You're coming across as, as a lot of different things. I think both of you are great manifestors, actually. Um... They're going to come into you, the Queen of Wands. And this is the energy. It's like revealing things with a High Priestess in reverse, revealing secrets in order to close out a cycle, the world in reverse. The world in reverse is saying something needs to, to seriously get closed out in order for any anything to have any progress within the situation. And it's known. And that's why they're going to come in. And they're actually going to reveal secrets. Secrets. They're going to reveal the truth to you. Let's let's pull romance angel cards and see what's coming of this connection, okay? Oof. Any messages for Capricorns regarding this reading? December 31st to January 6th. Any cap messages for Capricorns regarding this reading? December 31st to January 6th. Any messages for Capricorns regarding this reading? December 31st to January 6th. Any messages for my Cappies regarding this reading? Any messages for my Cappies regarding this reading? And remember, guys, this could always be vice versa. This could always be vice versa. Any messages for my Capricorns regarding this reading? Any messages for my Capricorns regarding this reading? December 31st to January 6th. Okay. Any messages for my Capricorns regarding this reading, December 31st to January 6th? Any messages for my Capricorns regarding this reading, December 31st to January 6th? I will say they find you irresistible, Capricorn. Find you pretty damn irresistible. All right, so let's see what we have here. So overall, we have reconciliation. Underneath that, we have new love and then express your love i got all kinds of good cards under this reconciliation card that's that just tells me that there's a hell of a lot of amazing stuff to come in this reconciliation okay and you guys already know i already told you there's a coming together we have the full card here this is a new beginning you can seize it if you really want to someone from your past is returning to your life now if you take the reconciliation like i said there's a lot of yummy cards under here five 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 i'm getting five so i'm gonna pull five one two Three, four, and five. New love. Your love will be renewed. Um, you're going to express your love to each other. There's a hell of a lot of chemistry. This is my twin flame card. We also have forgiving and learning from the situation and letting uh, your social circle help you, letting your friends help you. Um, talking to counsel as well, talking to family, seeking support in the situation and advice on what to do. Both of you are doing that. And like I said, if you take this reconciliation, you got awesome stuff coming your way. But like I said, that leap, that full card, that leap that has to be taken is a big, big leap of faith. Faith and guts and courage, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I mean it and I can feel it and I know it's going to be really hard for my Capricorns to take that jump. Now, the two cards that we come out were very interesting. We had romantic feelings and deception. So romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. Deception, someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So the romantic feelings, I mean, that, that's really clear cut and dry. You two love each other. If you didn't, you both would not be having this much pain. Okay, if you two didn't love each other. Okay. End of story. Now, deception. We didn't see any deception cards come out, but honestly, with the amount of pain here, I really feel like Cappy's, 
like I said, there's no trust and I felt it. And when there's no trust, that means you felt deceived and you feel like this person didn't didn't do you right. And they know they didn't do you right. They know. And they're coming in to try to fix it. You can take this if you want. You can take this reconciliation if you want. There's intense soulmate energy here. There's some signs of twin flame energy and I was feeling that a little bit. Most of you, it's a soulmate. And there's a lot of... Um, there's also some people dealing with some karmics as well in this and needing to close their karma out, which is why we have the wheel in reverse and the world in reverse. So use your best judgment. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I am telling you what the cards are saying. And the cards are saying, get past the deception from the past. Get past those feelings of feeling like you can't trust that person, of feeling like they're just going to deceive you again if you want an amazing relationship out of this. Um... Now, that being said, you know yourself best. You know this person hell of a lot better than I do because every situation is different. If you feel you can never trust this person again at any cost, then don't do it. Plain and simple. Um, it's not fair to them and it's not fair to you. And it's a waste of both of your guys' time if you know you can't trust this person ever again. Because if there's no trust, you can't have shit in love it's just plain and simple i know this is kind of a harsh one it was a heavy one it's a very heavy reading guys cappies but you know i just want to make it very clear because yeah there's some great stuff ahead but i feel that pain that this person has put you through and it's going to be different causes like detailed causes for each of you so you know you know what to do in the situation you know that you know that answer better than i do but I'm, I'm telling you right now, the cards say if you do take it, there's some amazing stuff for the Major Collective. But use your best judgment, okay? All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out Patreon on the Facebook page. So sorry for all the interruptions. So sorry, guys. Just is what it is. I'll see you guys later. Bye.